We all have fond memories of different faces and places, which is why Professor Karina joined us for an interview to share with us a fond memory as we commemorate the 60 years of the Old Location Uprising. The nearest shopping center was this one here, occupied mostly by German families. It, uh, the stores and the butchery that was on, you know, in the back of me here served a great purpose to at least make it easy for the people of the old location from walking distances to the, the European town. The bridge was uh, our contesting bridge. After school, uh, the Heroi kids who came from all the way up there and the Damara kids also who came from all the way up there on the other side of St. Barnabas School, whichever group was the first at the bridge after school, they would occupy the bridge the rest of the day. And all the people, even the adults, would pay a fee and that fee was a tiki. So when we collected our fees from the people at the bridge, we came into Shredder store next door and we bought the bonbons. They were mostly black. I don't know why they were not mixed colors. The bonbons were round candies. And during those years, when you suck them, they last a long time and you couldn't chew them because they were too hard. We like them because you can buy two of them and from here at least it will take you about two hours to finish sucking them. Those of us who came from the St. Barnabas school that used to kid our colleagues, you know, who came from the other schools because they spoke Afrikaans and so forth, we, we turned them later, the black bonbons, nigger balls. All of a sudden everybody you know, refer to the bonbons as nigger balls. As you suck them, the color changes. In your mouth, it's still black. We like to, to have our lips like lipsticks made by the bonbons. It was a wonderful time. 